The importance of Asia for geopolitics is going in two directions. The first one is the population itself. Since the population in Asia is expanding more than in other continents on one side, and since the population in Asia becomes more and more educated, it will definitely become a threat to some established economies, either in the United States or in Europe. And the second one is the assertiveness of different Asian countries. They become very aware of their own importance. This is the case of People's Republic of China, for instance. So they don't hesitate today to be much more active on the international scene than before. So this is why for our students coming to Singapore or for our students staying here in Sergi, it is very important for them to have a focus on Asia. The geopolitical issue is very important for our students because they usually have the ethnocentric approach, viewing the world from the point of view of Europe. This definitely cannot be done concerning Asia. So you must be in Asia, you must brief Asia, you must eat Asia, you must sleep Asia in order to understand. So this is why when they come to Singapore, they discover a lot of things. The takeaways from the course is not to, to predict what may happen in the future. But what is important is to find out are there some tendencies that you can analyze and that you can isolate from the rest. If we say that one great power is an arrogant power or that it is a blind power, you can apply it for every country that you can find. This is the very important point, identification of tendencies in order to not predict what may happen, but to say what may happen if we continue on the same path. The marketing in Islamic countries must be discussed in a separate way because religion is having a definite impact concerning the behavior of individuals, in that case consumers, but also companies. The five pillars of Islam are permeable to all elements of marketing. So if we adopt marketing from the point of view of the usual approach, which is the four Ps, it won't be enough now that you understand what is happening in Islamic countries. The specificities, uh, when we look at the two basic businesses, on one side you will have the Islamic finance, on the other side you will have the halal business. And especially concerning the halal business, there is an acute question of the halal certifications. So if we don't talk about the halal certifications, we can have the best product that you can imagine. There is a problem of trust of consumers concerning this product. And this trust is passing through the certification itself. The student will take away from the course about Islamic marketing a very feeling uh, that uh, adopting a product policy or adopting a distribution or communication policy must take into account the religious dimension. Not necessarily the theological one, but what is the direct and practical implication of it.